G'day Australia, I'm Chris Hogan, founder and CEO of Me Media. It's time to get fact up. This week we're going to be taking a look at the best parts of the Mika 2016 Internet Trends Report and why they are important for you. Let's do this! So first of all, a few might be going, what the hell is the Mika 2016 Internet Trends Report? Well, I'm here to tell you! Otherwise known as the Internet Marketing Bible, the Mika Report is a 200 page internet trend snapshot written by marketing analyst Mary Mika. It's delivered annually at the Code Conference in California, recently held on May 31 to June 2, 2016. The report is a huge deal in the internet marketing arena. It has been making massive waves since its first edition, which was published in 1995. Now we don't have time to go through 200 pages of this awesome report, but we have included a link for you to go through it on your own. Today is gonna to be the highlights. So stay tuned, let's dig in. On page 11, the global smartphone shipment has slowed dramatically. This means that the smartphone market is finally stabilizing. Phones are not improving as fast and people are no longer needing new ones every year or so. This is great news for app developers, web developers, and anybody designing for a mobile user interface. We can spend more time on building our brands and creating content for our brands. Page 45 highlights that advertisers are spending way too much money on legacy media. Put simply, last year around 70% of the advertising budgets went to TV, print and radio. The eyes and ears are no longer there. There is a huge opportunity with internet advertising, especially mobile advertising. Only 12% of businesses are spending money in the mobile advertising area. Even though one in four people are actually looking at the mobile in any given second. On page 73, social networks are growing because of video. Roll camera. Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook are dominating the social networks and the text heavy social networks are falling behind. This is mostly being driven by the new video features that these platforms have been integrating. So if you haven't considered video as part of your marketing strategy, better get on board. Page 99 highlights that the top image sharing apps are owned by you know who, Facebook. Facebook Messenger and Instagram, which is also owned by Facebook, are killing the image sharing space. Google isn't even part of this image sharing race right now. So keep an eye out, we could see something sneaky slip through very soon. You never know. Page 198. Data is becoming even more powerful. As online storage prices plummet, traffic data and analytics are now part of every platform and they are becoming an increasingly effective and cheap way for you to track your visitors and customers. This means that that powerful information from Google Analytics, Facebook Insights and that heat map data is all being stored, ready for you to use for your business. And it's uber powerful. If you don't know about it, then your competitors will. So you better get learning. Five pages out of 200 is about all we've got time for, for Get Fact Up and to go through the Mika Report. We guarantee you pick this up and show it to your board that you could be ahead of your competitors. There's a lot of information there and opportunity for changes ahead, especially in the mobile space. Whether you're an e-commerce giant or a small fish in a big pond, it's important to read reports like this. It helps you prevent your company from being disrupted because you know what's coming. And of course, if you find an opportunity that you need help with, you can give us a call. We've included a link to the report from this blog. Check it out, Australia, and we'll see you next week. Get out. Ha, la, la, la. Let's do this.